study was not focused on the political and economic organization of ECOWAS. It was focused on security cooperation, sub-regional security cooperation, where the West African sub-regional example of the collaboration um, in ECOWAS, um, in the Liberian intervention um, to restore peace. That said, as a student of political science and a conscious, uh, con conscious African, I, ECOWAS has been saddled with structural issues, primarily because of our Anglophone, Francophone divide. I know we have made some progress and we have hope of a single currency. Um, I'm optimistic, but that, that we will realize that a single market is the way forward if we want to be able to play in the bigger global picture. But our challenges are many. And, and Mr. Chairman, uh, yourselves as politicians perhaps appreciate this better than me because several of you are members of various parliamentary regional subcommittees, even the ECOWAS parliament, and you appreciate the complications in forging and taking sub-regional unity forward better than I can pretend to posit. All the alterum partem rule, as you appreciate, is a fundamental rule of law that you do not convict or make a judgment on a man until you have heard his side of the story. It's, it's, it's what we say in common parlance that uh, you don't tie, for me who comes from the north, you don't tie a single tuber of yam. They always have to be two. So you must always hear the other side of the story before you reach a conclusion. This is fundamental to the essence of law. And any judicial determination that offends this rule um, is impugned in an irretrievable way and occasions a complete nullity. And it, both as a matter of common sense and as, as a person with a common law orientation, I, I believe that ought to be the case of any judicial determination properly so-called.